super excited because we signed up for a free diving course. I'm really excited to actually take a course that'll make us uh, be more safety oriented as well as empower us to go even deeper. She's laughing so she's breathing. Now you gotta okay. change how you're talking hey, to her. Hey, Desiree, breathe. breathe. That's it, keep Good. doing that. You're doing great. <laughs> Previously on Project Atticus. After spending three years refitting our fixer-upper sailboat, we left the United States with only $2,000 and the goal of working while we cruised. We made it as far as Isla Mujeres, Mexico before we ran out of money and had to find work. For the next year, we did freelance boat repair jobs until we saved up enough cash to cast the lines and sail south to explore the Western Caribbean and enjoy our hard-earned freedom. Alright buddy, what are we doing today? Well, I'm super excited because we signed up for a free diving course in Utila and I'm really excited because this guy seems like super uh, dedicated to like excellence and safety practices. So Jordan and I have been free diving kind of like informally, like we taught ourselves back in Key West. So we've been doing it for three years or so now. I've already just from the manual uh, associated with the class realize that we've been doing pretty much everything wrong. <laughs> so uh, I'm really excited to actually take a course that'll make us uh, be more safety oriented as well as empower us to go even deeper. All right, let's go learn. All right. Fun time with the bud. Yeah. Learn time with the bud. Learning, if you're not learning, you're not living. That's right, that's it, buddy. And you know what else? What, bud? Safety is no accident. That is so true, bud. <laughs> and you know what else? What? Teamwork. Makes the dream work. Makes the dream work. Woo! I know. <laughs> we should do the like presidential handshake, like. <laughs> I'm enjoying this class already. Oh wow. This took it to a new level. <laughs> These no, sorry, are cool. What was your name? Sheena. Sheena, nice to meet you. Jordan. Jordan. And Desiree. You're in the class. Yes. Yes. And that's the other student. Yeah. We're all here. Yeah. yeah. Cool. We're gonna be right uh, right over here. Okay. Well before we do the class, I like to always start with some introductions. I mean I know we've been talking in the office, but I'll make it easy on you guys. I'll go first. I'm Sheena, I'm Canadian, if you can't tell from the accent. I'm a horrible Canadian, I hate the cold, I actually love the heat, I love this, so um, I've been spending a lot of time here, I can't stand winter and the snow. Uh, in long story short, in 2015 I decided to go traveling for six months, as you, as you do, so I quit my office job, I used to work in, in design and communication, so sitting behind a desk, keyboard warrior, uh, clicking all day and drawing. <laughs> Um, my goal was, okay, let's travel for six months, and I was already a scuba diver, so I came to Honduras. I'd been before, I was doing my dive master next door at UDC, and I kept seeing this sign out front here, the one that says 21 meters on a single breath. And I remember seeing it and thinking, that's not for me. I like breathing, I don't like holding my breath. <laughs> but I kept hearing more and more about the course, and eventually took it, mostly because I was scared but curious. And then from the very first day in the water, I got completely addicted because it was not at all what I thought. I thought it was going to be like hard and scary and difficult and it was more about relaxing and enjoying. So I got completely addicted. I've been teaching here about two years. I've taught as well in Panama and a little tiny bit in Mexico. I'm Jordan. Ooh, Hi. Nice hat. Thank you. Does it say sup? Sup. It does say right. sup. I know. <laughs> yeah, I think we both really like uh, diving as well. but. It's the cost thing. Like we can free dive every day, you know, and we definitely can't dive nearly every day or afford to. So, yeah. basically, as we sail, free diving has sort of become our like favorite activity. So, well, I'm Paige. Um, I'm from Boston originally. Yes. 
Um, also hate the cold. I'm a total sun chaser. Um, I met Joseph last February on uh, sailing. I had done a couple sailing trips uh, and I spent about five weeks with him total on the boat. Um, obviously heard a lot about free diving and spear fishing um, and thought it was really cool. And obviously we were eating so much fresh fish and just kind of living off the ocean itself. Love the water, love the ocean. Um, yeah. Uh, 2 p.m. we have a theory class today. Uh, this is the biggest theory class. It's probably gonna be about two and a half hours because we've got a lot of things to cover, but it's actually my favorite class to teach. So, and I just had a coffee, so <laughs> you're, you're in luck, I hope. We learned that the most important part of free diving is not holding your breath, but how you breathe before you go below the surface. Free divers call their pre-dive breathing technique a breathe up. There are many different breathe up techniques, but the primary objective of a breathe up is to relax your mind and body and to lower your heart rate. This allows the body to consume oxygen at a slower rate while underwater and delays the panic response associated with increasing CO2 when diving. Basically, the breathe up enables divers to hold their breath longer before experiencing discomfort. Here you can see Desiree using a breathe up technique called resistance, where she's using her tongue to restrict her airway and forcibly slow her breathing. She's also focusing on belly breathing at this stage of her breathe up, as opposed to chest breathing, taking care not to strain herself by filling or emptying her lungs to the maximum, as this would decrease her relaxation. All right, buddy. What'd you think? That was really cool. I had no idea how much uh, breathing techniques we were totally missing out on. So uh, it was really, really cool. I learned a lot just from like seeing seeing our instructor just demonstrate things with her body and it's so cool because she'd be sitting there breathing in for like two or three minutes <laughs> and so it's 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 cool yeah it's really awesome they're doing a uh, barbecue here tonight and they invited us so we better go get some food and put something together for the barbecue In a way, freediving mirrors our philosophy of adventure and minimalism as cruisers. It's the idea that even if you don't have a lot of money and a lot of expensive equipment, you can still have profound experiences while exploring the world. It was cool to get to hang out with a group of people who shared that belief. of our free diving course and we're gonna get in the water today. Oh, we're so excited to see what we can actually do. I just, I can't wait to use the new breathing techniques that we learned. I just, you know, I feel like we've been kind of free diving handicapped for a long time and I really just wanna see what our f full potential is. So, I'm so excited. Bye, Atticus. It's looks real pretty this morning. You ready to do this, homie? This one good looking damn boat. <laughs> oh. Once back at the classroom, we went over safety and rescue, and Sheena taught us how to revive someone who has experienced a shallow water blackout. 
Underwater, I want to extend my arms and start to kick. So I'm bringing him up to the surface, have him look, orient myself. Once I'm on the surface, I want to tilt his head back and he'll... You're floating, aren't you? Most of us will float because we've got air in our lungs. I'm going to rotate you again so they can see the do -si do So the hand that's on the face is going to come off underneath the arm to the back of the neck. So oh. you're looking at your old thumb, Whoa. kind of like you're holding a pizza. Whoa. On land, this is a bit weird, but in the water, it's perfect. Their head will be level with you. Uh -huh. So put his head up on the buoy, leave your hand underneath, clear the airway, mask, blow. <sighs> Pretend that was his eyes. I just want to get my bad breath on him. <laughs> Tap, yeah. take it away. Okay, <laughs> go down. Exhale, stop moving. All right, you better rest your shallow water black up. <laughs> Face sandwich. Like that? Yeah. Now, underwater, you would be extending your arms and kicking. Bring her to the surface. Keep her head level or even maybe chin tucked. Oh, Good. yeah, even that yeah. one. Okay, so you're on the surface. Now you tilt her airway back. Okay. And do -si do That okay. hand. Don't want to choke her. There we go. Perfect. Gotcha. Perfect. Now put her head on the buoy and clear the airway. Uh, mask off. Oh yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah. Mask off. Blow tap talk. Hey, strong Desiree, blow. Strong up. blow. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe, Desiree. Breathe, Desiree. Blow again. Blow again. She's laughing, so she's breathing. Now you got to okay. change how you're talking hey, to her. Hey, Desiree. Breathe. Breathe. Keep breathing. Breathe. Breathe. Big breaths. That's it. Keep Good. doing that. You're doing great. <laughs> Nice. You saved my life. Yo, Yo you're welcome. Well. <laughs>officially certified free divers so yeah. that's super exciting yeah i feel really badass um <laughs> personally ba basically <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's just so crazy to see what your body can do and uh yeah essentially jordan got down to 100 feet today 100 feet isn't that crazy isn't that insane yeah i can't believe it and then i got down to 90 um and i was a little bit cold all day so i was trying to do what we call the breathe up and i was not very uh what do you call it, relaxed. So I feel like if I weren't cold, I could have gotten to 100. So that's my next goal is just to get down there. You know, most of the training was free diving with a line. So with a float on the surface and then a line with a weight on the bottom and then pulling yourself down, pulling yourself up, using that line as like a safety net basically. So you always know which way is up mm -hmm. and you can help yourself up. But um, I was gonna ask like, I know we, weren't expecting to like that. Yeah. We went into this class being like, oh, we're not line divers. <laughs> like, we are into reefs, we're into f wildlife, fish, you know, and it didn't take long for us to totally change our minds. Yeah. So what was it that you liked about the line diving? Um, I guess for me, I really loved, <laughs> and I felt this a little bit when we were in Belize, I loved the feeling of just being surrounded by blue. And so when you're at a reef, you're incentivized to get down to like a certain depth, um, to see a certain fish or a certain overhang. And so in a way it's a little bit distracting because you have a, a goal and you're trying to get to that. Um, and there's just a lot of like different colors and textures around you. Whereas the line for me, it's so, it's like a vacuum. It's just like the world disappears and it's just you and this line and like blueness and you're just like, all right, I'm going for it. And so it's like very meditative and it's like, it's almost like, it feels like a safety blanket. Um, just holding on to something physical and getting, pulling yourself deeper and deeper. I don't know, it's just, it feels so awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and for me it was, I guess what I was surprised about is I thought that people that could free dive down to 100 feet, I thought they were just really good at putting up with the like mental suffering of holding your breath, mm -hmm. you know, that like panicky awful feeling when you're like, I want to breathe now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but in reality, it's it's that's not it. In fact, it sounds like that's only something you do once you become like almost competitive. Mm -hmm. What it really is, is learning how to breathe properly and a, like the technique and the process 
to put your body into a state that you don't generally go into, mm -hmm. which is like this hyper oxygenated, really calm with mm -hmm. this really low heart rate. Mm -hmm. And so what I liked was being in that state mm -hmm. because you literally take five minutes to do like a minute and a half dive mm -hmm. or five minutes to do like a two minute dive and you're just there chilling and doing this breathing procedure for five minutes. Mm -hmm. And then by the time you do the dive, like you're going down and you're just kind of like, like a little bit like Desiree said, like the world stops existing. Mm -hmm. And so you're just like totally cool. You're like, oh, I'm like 80 feet below the surface. That's cool. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I've had a couple of experiences underwater that I feel like changed my life. And this is definitely one of them. It was, Awesome. <laughs> Next week on Project Atticus. Well, good morning from beautiful Utila Bay Islands, Honduras. <laughs> wow, this is this is super shitty. I feel a little bit drunk. I'm like, you want some pasta, buddy? <laughs> But there's another cold front coming in. Great opportunity to get over to Roatan. I have this idea of travel where the harder a place is to get to, the more enjoyable it'll be when we get there. We just ran aground a little bit over there. Oh. Okay, now look down. There you go. What's that? Uh, we're doing a porn video. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking here. And if you're already a huge fan of Project Atticus, consider becoming a patron right there. See you next week.